to do so because of the hustle from Carter Turnbull. Good aggressive play on both ends so far as Hessler goes to his right. Paul, nice pass, filters it through. Backhand shot, save made by Tomaszka and strong. Right edge, even when you consider the the two-man two minute power play. Zakoff with speed. First save made the wrapper and on the second effort kept out by Clark. I'm not sure if Zakoff got all the way around on his wraparound try, but that's a dangerous moment for the Big Green. And it, he didn't get all the way around. He left it just short on the back side of the goal. So here's a Zakoff with a wrist shot that just hits the post, and then he thought he had daylight. He did and came up taking this one. Robbins gets in clean. Rister hits the post. Another pipe in this tournament. That's five so far this weekend. Berger now hits another one. Incredible. His hands up in the air, and Dartmouth can take it the other way. Numbers developing. Matthews in the middle. This is Urbeck. He shoots, save, made, rebound. Hessler, and it's kept out. That was Turnbull on the deck. Goaltender down. Urbeck's shot was blocked. UConn sacrificing the ball off that point pass. Shrugs off a hit. From Karashek, but now goes down to his knees. This sets up Gatcom with some room. Piusov waiting in the middle. Gatcom right to the crease. Backhand shot from Connolly went off the side of the net. He had a little bit of a window, but overskated it. Tough pass to Corral. This can they take advantage? Foreman off the faceoff. Yes, he can. With 6:24 to go in the second period, the deadlock is broken. Quinn Foreman puts Dartmouth in front, one nothing. Matt is not going to make UConn happy at all. Dartmouth does take full advantage. And what a beautiful rip by Foreman. Some traffic. Momajka reacted subtly. He was able to see. Who finds Gallant. Minute 10 to go in the second period. Quinn Foreman has the only goal so far. Nice centering feed. O'Connor's open. Denied by Momajka. And then Gallant came charging in for the follow-up. And it's yesterday. One to O'Connor, one to Bakers. This one's hammered out to the skates of Foreman, and it's mishandled by O'Connor. Ruslan is Hakov all alone, and shorthanded, he scores. Tie game with 4.1. If he just slid it in low, and that's what created the opportunity. The rebound, Clark couldn't handle it cleanly, but turnover. First off, forces it. Pass inside. They score on the backhand. Carter Turnbull, a power play goal, gives UConn its first lead of the game. Vladislav first off comes up with the clean pick and that's what helps set this up. If you're Dartmouth, you know you're a man down and you can ill afford to turn the puck over when you clear it. There's Demler giving it up and what a good giveaway there from forcing 20 block shots from the big green. It still has not been enough to slow down this Husky attack. Through a crowd, tip toward goal, they score again. It's Carter Turnbull, his second of the period and UConn doubles the lead. Second in just a matter of moments, Turnbull gets a stick on it, the deflection in front, and it's able to break through Clark. The first time there was a little more purpose. This time it's, hey, let's just take a couple of... Whipped in by Kuznetsov, knocked down by Clark. O'Connor off to the races. Dartmouth could really use an individual effort by O'Connor. He's the guy to do it, and he will! Incredible! Volmarska got a big piece of it, but not the whole pie. It's back to a one-goal game. Well, that is what O'Connor can bring to the table in the same way that we saw Ruslan Azakov put it on his shoulders and score a goal to tie it back at the end of the second period. O'Connor got to come back for it. So it's less again, sent on, tipped by Hessler, and he couldn't put it through. The crowd erupted because they saw the open net, but the referee says no, and so did Tomasz Vomaszka. Can't wait to see this from an alternate angle because I don't know how this game's not tied. Man advantage for Dartmouth. They crash the front of the net. Here's a look. That's a tip by Vomaszka, and then he sprawls back again with Karashik also in the cage for some help. And UConn doing its best to give us a view. We're going to find out officially from Cam Lynch. It's a goal. We're tied, and the celebration is on. Goaltender's glove on a Drew O'Connor goal, and then a replay review on the Sam Hessler goal. Dartmouth came back to tie. Now Quinn Foreman quickly out of the box. 2-1-1 on with Gallant. Foreman waiting, shooting, and scoring with 3.34 to go. Quinn Foreman gives Dartmouth the third period lead. Three unanswered goals for Dartmouth. Tomaj Volmajka, not much he could do. 
maybe he overplayed the pass a little bit. Ryan Wheeler had the pass blocked off, and Quinn Foreman took it all the way in himself. Take a look, the poke away, and he's off to the races from center ice. Wheeler caught in a little bit of no man's land as well, rather than just committing to the pass. And 10 seconds to go. Desperation time now for UConn. Clark will save it, sweeps it to the corner. Howarth bumped off the puck. Four seconds to go. Foreman goes off the glass, keeps it in play, and the Dartmouth Big Green are your 2019 Ledger Classic Champions. 